the relationship me and my son's father have is amazing. That's like it's amazing. Like I wish that more people relationship was like that because yeah. ours is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. And you know, my kid is not growing up in a broken home, although we're in separate homes. Yeah. You know, he's not growing up in a broken home. Like so. I'm not saying that everybody relationship have to be like that with the mother of the kids, but like, I want you to care about the mother of your kid. I Mm -hmm. want you to still nurture her. I want you to still consider her feelings. Like I want all of those things. So if you're not doing those things and you're literally one of those people that's like, oh, well, you know, I'm just doing this for my kid. Like your kid can feel that. Well, what if the dude does want that with the baby mother, Mm -hmm. but she's stubborn towards that, Mm -hmm. maybe because of the fact they're not together. Mm -hmm. And she uses that, uh, you know, and and resentment and Mm -hmm. just, you know, uh, acts out towards him in -hmm. spite, Mm -hmm. even though he wants what you were saying. He wants that, you know, even though they're not together, he wants that positive co-parenting for the sake of the child. Mm -hmm. But she's just not trying to hear none of that shit. Mm -hmm. She's like, fuck you, nigga. I'm going to make your life a living hell. Fuck Mm -hmm. what you talking about. Mm -hmm. Even if you see that, you know, would that still be, you know, good for you? It plays a factor because my question to him would be, what are you doing? What steps are you taking now, um, you know, to work through that? Or, you know, to where it's not even a factor because the steps... Like, cause men, I don't know what it is, but a lot of men, when they do experience that, they feel like it's nothing that they can do. It's like, they really genuinely Again, feel that way. He tried. He He's tried in person, over the phone, with her family. And I, I'm speaking of this, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm speaking on behalf of um a, a specific uh, friend and relative mm-hmm. of mine. Does the actions, yeah. you know what I'm saying, has held it down financially, Um, being there for the kids, spending... Mm-hmm. Lots of time with the kid, taking them to school, picking them up from the school, mm-hmm. um, doing all sorts of that. So he's taking actions, but even still, he's treated you know bad from the mom out of spite. Mm-hmm. Even though he's he, he like, I get what you're saying. Some people may be like, "Fuck it, I can't do nothing." Yeah. But even still, he's like, "I'm gonna still try." Like you tripping? This for the kid. I'm gonna still try. Yeah. But it's still not getting through. Have he taken the steps to possibly try to take her to therapy, mediation, things like that? So when I say, "What steps have you taken?" I'm talking about those type of things because I understand I have friends Mm -hmm. that give the father of their kids a hard time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I talk to my friend and, you know, I try to reason with them. But, you know, when people mind made up about certain things, it just is. Yeah. Yeah. You just be there for them in however way you can. But um, So it sounds like you're saying there's always some type of. There's always a solution. You can can try. Always a solution. Even if you got to go to court. I think court should be a last resort for people. Now, Anybody. now, what I'm thinking of is p- after court, mm-hmm. even after court, she's taking him to court mm-hmm. and it's, you know, he can only see the child, what, once every two weeks, like mm-hmm. for like an hour on FaceTime or something. Now, mm-hmm. that's some real shit. Yeah, it is. Um, So even after that, you're saying mm-hmm. there's still a solution. There's even something always after. a solution. Okay. So what would you say uh, if your friend, you have mm-hmm. a guy friend mm-hmm. who's... A uh, baby mother took him to court. Mm-hmm. Uh, he lost a custody battle. Mm-hmm. He can only see the child once a week, once every yeah, once a week for like thirty minutes on Facetime. Mm-hmm. That's that's all he gets. Mm-hmm. What would you say? Because it's always a solution. So, what would you kind of advise him on towards making that better? Take those same steps. So, what men who go who go through those type of things, what mm-hmm. they fail to do before they even get to the part where you know is rejected, they fail to document everything that they're doing leading up to that custody battle. Mm-hmm. That's where they make the worst mistake. You have to document. So, whatever solution it is that you're attempting to provide, mm-hmm. document that. Go try to seek therapy. If she chooses not to show up to therapy. It don't matter. You did your part. Cool. Documentation. Have the therapist, you know, write it off, whatever, whatever. Um, if you buy your kids stuff, keep the receipts. If you cash up, you send money, whatever it is that you do, documentation is key. Even if you got to communicate with her through email, which she probably ain't going to do because she's mm-hmm. being bitter. But documentation is key to everything. So if none of that work and he lose the custody battle, Cause I Once was, again. yeah. Cause I, I was just, and I'm, I'm not even making this. I'm not even making this shit up. Like this is literally someone I know. Yeah, had documentation, mm-hmm. and that still wasn't good enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you let well, me ask? Let me ask you this. Do you think that the court, when it comes to a situation like that, do you think that the court is in favor for the mother? Um, 
yes and no. Explain. I would say that. Um, cause there's been instances where I've seen the court actually take sides with the male. Um, but, but majority of the time, yes, I would say the female. Um, I would say, yeah, they do take the mother's side a lot. Why do you think that is? Hmm. Why do I think that is? As a mother. Hmm. I don't have an answer for that right now mm. because- is many things that play a factor. I think with women, um, it's easier um, to. That's a, okay. This is the best way to put it. That is a so the fact that a female even has to come to court and go to court. That's emotional. Like that is that has emotional impact. Can I tell you something? What black men hate court. That's a generational trauma yeah. effect passed down to us. Yeah. We hate yeah. court, especially if it's a, any type of like going into court with a possible um, outcome of you getting some type of penalty, whether that's being fined, whether that's not seeing your kids, whether that's going to jail, mm -hmm. whatever, it meant, whatever it is, black men hate court. Yeah. I would say more, I, you're saying it's emotional for y'all. I think it's more traumatic for us mm -hmm. going into court. Oh, not for sure. But when I say emotional, I'm saying in a sense of they're providing a solution emotionally. They're mm -hmm. fixing it. So that's what the government has always done, even when they broke up the black family. They are providing uh, emotional stability of some sense to the female. So it's easier to manipulate those emotions. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why, um, part of the reason, I think that's part of the reason why um, it is in favor of the female, because it's easier to manipulate that woman because of the emotions that's already there. Now with y'all men, y'all men are more logical when it comes to things. So instantly with court it's a no-brainer for y'all mm -hmm. but women want a lot of the times right now solutions mm -hmm. so if that right now solution can be going to court that's what's going to happen i believe uh men are more willing to work through a lot of issues when it comes to co-parenting yeah i feel like more men are willing to do the work and go through the arguing and go through all that instead of going to court most women just be ready to go to court. Yeah. They don't want to work through it. And uh, that's one of the things I admire about myself. I give myself props. When me and my son's father uh, broke up, um, there was a lot of things that was happening and people was telling me like, oh, you know, you need to take him to court. You need to put him yeah, on child, child support. support. Like I had family and friends telling me yeah. to do it. And my gut was like, no, don't do that. Like, this is a phase. This is not something that's going to last because at the end of the day, I knew the man ultimately that I was mm -hmm. dealing with outside of the emotion. Like I already had seen the type of father he was. I already seen the type of person he was. So I trusted in that. Mm. And I was like, I'm not going to take him to court and I'm not going to put him on child support. And we worked through all of that. I focused on what I wanted the goal to be. And that's what it is now. Now he's in a relationship. I told him, like, yo, if you get in a relationship... I want to be able to, you know, still spend time with you and my son together. I don't yeah. want you to be with an insecure female that yeah. think that I want to be with you. Right. So now he he's in a relationship with a woman who, like, literally, I'm going over there tomorrow and I'm kicking it with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, Man. we're all going to sit, eat dinner together, watch the yeah. TV and stuff. We celebrated my son's birthday together in Florida. Mm -hmm. Like, we flew out there together. They was in their room. Me and my son was in our room. Yeah. You know, we had a great time. So I'm still able to have that type of relationship with him because we work through all of that. It's not easy, but it's like any other relationship. Mm. Literally, I still have to nurture him. I still have to communicate with him. Yeah. I still have to consider his feelings and I want to. So when you're, when people break up or even if they're not in a relationship with uh, the father of their child, mm -hmm. they instantly feel like, oh, well, you know, we're not together no more. I don't have to do these things. Yeah. Nigga, you got to do it 10 times more now because right. you have a kid. Right. <laughs> you have, you still have to do those things. And that's what it's about. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. That was amazing. I, yeah. I want to give you, I want to give you a round of applause too as well for that. <laughs> I want to give you props for that too, because man, that is a great example and yeah. a great reason to, you know, uh, go towards that path. So yeah, I'm a, I'm actually going to clip that. That's actually going to be a whole separate YouTube <laughs> oh, video you. uh, on its own. Yeah. No, that, that was amazing.